Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see different types of if and if statement. First, let's see if and if statement. I am declaring a global variable num and assign a value 25 to it. I am going to use a simple and if statement. So first the compiler check for this condition num1 slash num is greater than 10 which means 25 is greater than 10 of course it is greater than 10 so it will display the value is greater than 10 and we are ending the if statement let's execute the script the value is greater than 10 because the compiler declare variable num and assign a value 25 to it and it's check the condition whether this 25 is greater than 10 and it return true so it execute the message box present inside the if statement let's see how if else if and if statement work greater than 20 then so I'm just checking the condition whether this variable num is greater than 20 if it is true then it should display the values greater than 20 here I'm executing it let's see what happened the value is greater than 10 and the program terminates because first it checked this condition it is true so it simply execute the instruction present inside the if statement and comes out of entire if and if statement so let's change and enter as 30 and let's see what happened the value is greater than 20 it is executing the condition in the else if statement because first condition fail so it start validating the second condition and it return true so the instruction inside this condition gets executed let's see what happen if none of the condition is true First it check the condition 25 is greater than 30 it return false then it check the condition it is true so we will change it as 20 to 26 so that it will become fail now execute the script and let's see what happened none of the condition is true the final else statement is executed because the first two condition is failed this is how if else if and if statement will work let's see how nested if statement work i have added a child if statement inside the parent if statement first the compiler check the condition num is greater than 30 it's failed so it simply skip the entire if and if statement so we need to we need the compiler to enter into the if statement so we should make this as true we will change it as 20 so now the compiler will check whether this 25 is greater than 20 of course it is true so the instruction will be executed and again it check for the second condition that is a, a child if statement condition num is greater than 26 of course it is not because 25 is not greater than 26 so the statement inside this will not be shown to the user the value is greater than 20 and it terminate the program let's change it to 22 and let's see what happened So now both of the condition is true so the compiler have to execute both of the instructions 
value is greater than 20 and the value is greater than 22 so both the instructions are executed so this is how the nested if statement will work thank you